Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, one of the questions that popped up a few times, what is a cryptocurrency hijacker? So we're going to add that to the list of malware in our malware series that we did since last week. So cryptocurrency, you might have heard the word. It's a digital money, basically. It's um, a chain of code that actually um, is done by making long and extremely difficult calculations that requires a lot of power. And of course, that gives you Bitcoins and gives you all sorts of cryptocurrencies. There's not just Bitcoin out there. There are several types. Uh, Ethereum is another one. Uh, cryptocurrencies are popular to what we call mine because, of course, they bring you money. And what happens with cryptocurrency is that the first chain of crypto cryptocurrency is easy to get. It's as the chain gets more complex and there's more and more of cryptocurrencies out there that the calculations become more tedious, take longer, requires powerful, more powerful machines. And some will use the power of multiple machines at the same time. And what better way to do that? To infect computers with a malware that will mine cryptocurrencies without your knowledge. And so it could use millions of PCs online. So one PC might take forever to get a Bitcoin, but hey, a million PCs, maybe it's gonna take much less time so what happens is that cryptocurrency miners are a type of malware. You get them in the same way that you get the standard viruses out there. It could be something you clicked in an email attachment, a link that brings you to a shady website that you clicked on something and installed it. It could be uh, you know, simply a download of illegal software or a crack, as we call it, that will actually open or... Um, you know, give you possibility to use software that usually needs to be activated online. All of that is ways to get malware. Uh, it's always the same thing. You always have to do something that you shouldn't to get a cryptocurrency malware in your PC. Now, what does it do? Of course, it mines for cryptocurrencies so that the group behind it or the person behind it, the hacker, because it's using the power of multiple PCs, might get rich by creating Bitcoins in that way, or cryptocurrency. Now, um, I was talking about a specific thing about how it's not detected sometimes um, on antivirus. In one case, it's um, Windows images that are downloaded from the web that uh, are infected. They infect the UEFI firmware because that is before Windows and that is as you start up, no antivirus will ever see it because its first thing that it does is make sure that your antivirus looks like it's working, but it will disable its detection of it. So you boot up, everything seems to be right. Your antivirus seems to be working, but that thing is running. Now, how would you know that you have such malware in your PC, a cryptocurrency? Usually cryptocurrency miners take a lot of power out of PCs and devices. And here we're gonna talk a little larger, not just PC wise, but even in your smartphone, you could sideload an Android app, get cryptocurrency miners in your Android phone or tablet. It happens, happens on a Mac, can happen even on Linux. The best way to know is to check uh, abnormal behaviors. So if it's a smartphone, is your smartphone hot all the time when you touch it? Is your smartphone's battery suddenly really, really dropping fast? These are signs something's wrong and that maybe something did uh, or is creating crypto mining on your device. On a PC, same thing. Is, your, is the fan of your PC running a constant 100% speed? It becomes noisy. Um, you can, of course, use a task manager and go and check out your CPU usage. Or, very important, you can also, and it's important, to check 
in the performance, the GPU usage, especially on gaming machines. Why? Because the GPU is even more powerful at crypto, mi crypto mining. So what happens is that when you want to you a, do a, um, a cryptocurrency miner, you'll actually look at the type of graphics processor. In gaming machines, you strike gold because the graphics processors are so powerful that it actually makes crypto mining uh, even more efficient. And so you'll see that your graphics adapter might be used and, and runs hot. Uh, of course, your CPU might be used and running hot at 100% all the time. And if you're not doing anything, there's something suspicious behind this. You can look at the processes. It does not mean you'll see it. Sometimes some of the processes for malware, what happens is that it is hidden. So it might not show up, but you can go and check that out. But usually high activity is what triggers this um, type of, of um, cryptocurrency mining. It's the way that you might notice it if your antivirus doesn't see anything. So um, depending on how you get it and how well it's programmed, of course, some of them will be detected by antivirus. They're not totally zero, but a lot of them can go undetected. And the one in the images of Windows is undetected all the time because it actually boots up from the most uh, primary of, of, of ways, and, and it's from your UEFI boot firmware, which means that it starts before Windows is even a thing. And within Windows, it's going to, of course, immediately make sure that your antivirus cannot see it. So it's pr previous to all the protections, which means it has the possibility to break them to do whatever. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.